Hi, I'm Amanda Morrell, Personal Finance Editor with Interest.co.nz, and I'm here today with a double shot interview with a man who needs very little introduction in New Zealand, and that's Gareth Morgan. Welcome, Gareth. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Gareth is one of the many uh, KiwiSaver providers on the market. He manages KiwiSaver products for Gareth Morgan Investments, and he's just going to walk us through um, how some of those investment products work and um, some of the returns and some of the finer points. So. Gareth, I think many my people might assume that you are actually managing all the KiwiSaver money yourself. How how does who manages the KiwiSaver money for Gareth Morgan Investments? Okay, well we've got a um, investment strategy team of eight people yep. uh, down there: a um, couple of economists, a couple of equity analysts, a fixed interest person, and a couple of quants, and plus me. And so the way the whole uh, investment works, investment strategy team works, is that team you know works day in and day out looking at what they want to do, and we've got a couple of us who've got what we call delegated authorities, so we're the ones who can actually make the calls. Okay. So we, <clears throat> we'll be you know, discussing it all day, and then one of the, either myself or Susan Easton will say, right, we're going to do this, and that's how it works. Okay. Do you use any external fund managers for yep. any of you? Yeah. Yeah. Managers. I mean, right now, if we take our growth, KiwiSaver growth fund, um, about a quarter of the um, portfolio is in managers. Okay. Um, Another quarter of it is in ETFs, so that's just index trackers, yeah. um, and then a half of it is individual stocks. So it's a, you know, it's an eclectic mix. It's a bit of a mix. mix. Okay, yeah. what criteria, if any, would you have for the selection of the fund managers that you do end up using? Well, the main thing is we, um, the way we go about investing is um, asset allocation is our, our biggest core. Yeah. You know, on any one day, how much of a dollar given to you to put into the markets have you actually got in the markets? Yeah. So that's our biggest call. Currency is the second one. Um, which currencies are you exposed in? The third one is investment themes. Mm -hmm. And the last one, and absolutely the least one, is what securities? Because we have prudential limits on what we will we'll put in to okay. any one security. Yeah. Um, and so if one goes over, mm -hmm then um, we get a bruise, but okay. we don't lose our arm. These are very diversified portfolios. Right. Um, so in terms of the criteria for an instrument, why would we buy, uh, instead of buying, investing direct, why would we use a fund, say? It all comes down to market efficiency. So if we've um, identified that, you know, some market in Asia looks set to go, the next question is, how on earth do we actually expose, you know, get exposure to that market? Do we go and buy stocks directly on the local exchange, mm -hmm. or do we buy into a fund manager that specialises in that area or on that theme? And we're, um, and it's just a, you know, it's a case by case. Okay. Um, and if we find a manager there that's got, you know, reasonably good low fees, mm -hmm. good performance, good philosophy is really the main thing yeah. in terms of I can understand what they're trying to do, then we'll use a, a manager rather than invest directly. Okay. Absolutely. Well, you've raised a point that I was going to ask you. What is uh, Gareth Morgan Investments' own philosophy with respect to KiwiSaver? Well, the first thing <coughs> for us is wealth preservation. That's number one. And even for the growth portfolio, okay. it's wealth preservation. Yep. And enhancement is number two. Okay. So we have a big sign on our office wall yep. that says, don't lose the bloody stuff. And the reason for that is that these portfolios are basically people's long-term savings. Mm -hmm. They're likely not to have a chance to rebuild them if you smash them. Mm -hmm. So that is by far the main criteria. Okay. That is why the portfolios are so diversified. If you, and I always say to people, don't think you're going to make a lot of money mm -hmm. out of you know, investing in these types of diversified portfolios. You won't. Make, you make money in your day job, um, or you concentrate mm -hmm. um, portfolios to make. But of course, with that comes far, far higher risk. But we're playing here with, um, with you know, looking after here people's long-term savings. So I think it's totally inappropriate, actually, um, to be playing little segments of the market with KiwiSaver funds. Okay. All right. Um now, we talk about preventing losses, but you've seen on the market recently some incredible volatility and some yeah. serious losses. Yeah. What, if any, adjustments have you made to some of your portfolios to maybe manage that, that risk right. and loss? Well, since KiwiSaver began in the third quarter, wasn't it, of, of 2007, we've had the GFC, the big crash, and now we've had this, we're, having, we're having, at the moment, the second leg. So those are two big thumps. Um, coming in on the market. So in the 08 
period for the GFC. Um, a portfolio that was mandated 100% growth for us mm -hmm. went through that period with about 45 cents in the dollar invested. The other 55 was in cash. We have total discretion on the conservative side of a client's mandate to do what we like. So if we're really scared of market, we can go completely to cash if we want. Okay. But if a client has mandated that they want 80% growth, we okay. can't go to 83. Okay. We have to rebalance. So okay. we're totally discretionary, but just on the conservative side. Okay. So that's why we tend to do better in market downturns mm -hmm. and market mm -hmm. upswings, mm -hmm. actually, mm -hmm. because we're always, um, we tend to be underweight. You know, like for me, 90, I think the highest we've ever been over the 20 years of looking after portfolios mm -hmm. for a 100% mandated portfolio is 1992, wow. I think, is mm -hmm. the highest we've ever been invested. That's really bullish okay. um, for me. Yeah. Um, so what we find is we do tend to open up the gap between us and the benchmark and the yeah. downswing. So right at the moment, um, the 100% growth portfolio is 70% invested. Okay. Um, this time three months ago, it was 85.